What's up guys? Today we're talking about a microtact. And this was loaned in from my good buddy over at Tier 1 Gear Reviews. Go check him out. There'll be a link to his channel down below. Great guy. Got some great stuff. And he sent in a big box of stuff that I'm working my way through. So I greatly appreciate that. So anyway, let's dive into this one. This is the Microtech LUD, LUD, uh, L-U-D-T. It's the Large Underwater Demolition Team Knife. I did not check the history of this. I don't know if there's any teams using it, if it's used by demolition team. I don't know. That's what it's called. That's what we're going with. Pretty cool knife. Four and seven sixteenths closed. It is a side opening automatic. Overall length is eight inches. The blade is 3.4 with an edge of 3.1. This particular one is a partially serrated edge. This came in a fully plain edged, a partially serrated, and lots of different colors. Coated blades, not coated blades, and a lot of different handle colored anodizations. Uh, the blade steel is XHP with a relatively thin thickness of 0.126. Weighs in at, I didn't weigh it, so I will put that in the description. I could have swore I weighed it, I just didn't write it down. I think it was like 3.6 ounces. So, and we're gonna go with 3.6. I'll make sure and put that in the description. Oops. <laughs> you know, I take some notes, I do the video, and sometimes I forget to write stuff down, okay? Overall thickness is 0.484 minus the clip. So we'll do a quick little zoom in. Not a lot to see here. The blade is typical Microtech affair with a bunch of stuff written all over it. Uh, you know, it's not my thing. Keep the blades clean. Put maybe a logo and that's it. I certainly don't need the name of the knife because I bought it. I mean, I didn't buy this one, it was loaned to me, but I don't need the name of the knife on the blade, guys, come on. Or anywhere on the knife for that matter. Proprietary hardware, not a big fan of that. It does come with this lanyard, not a big lanyard guy, but that would be easy enough to take off. I can't, you know, I can go either way on the proprietary hardware, honestly. I wouldn't be taking an automatic knife apart anyway, so I'm good with it. I kind of like the three here on the pocket clip okay that's just me the branding on the clip eh not a fan of but that's okay also and i do like the backside pivot how it is not rounded with the with the proprietary triway whatever it's just the triway kind of recessed in and locked into that aluminum scale i think that's just very cleanly done, and I like the way that looks. So, all in all, it's a pretty good looking knife. It feels really good in the hand. Uh, it is lightweight. I think the partially serrated, I'm over the serrated blades. Growing up with my Spyderco police model, I was all about the serrations or the partially serrated when I had a Enduro, Endura partially serrated. Um, but as I've gotten older, I just, you know, just give me a nice sharp edge and I'm good. But the opening and closing is very nice. There is no, uh, safety on this thing, which I think is totally fine. It's a rather snappy deployment. So you want to hang on. It's not quite as hard hitting as a Hogue. Hogue's autos are just stupid crazy in an awesome way. Um, but I like the blade shape. I like that it is kind of up from the edge of the blade or of the edge of the scale. So it does keep your hand out of the way on things. Um, you know, I think that, I think it just works. This is a really nice looking knife. Feels good in the hand. The jimping is comfortable yet functionable, functional. Um, I don't know. All in all, I think this is a really cool knife. These are currently out of stock at a couple of places I looked before filming the video. Um, but, you know, you could find them on the secondary if you're really looking for one. So here it is next to the Sharpie. The Spyderco Delica. 
How about the Endura because it's kind of that same size-ish. Okay, the Endura is a bit longer. And what about the uh, Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21? And I do have a large 31 back on the shelf here that's going to get a review and a comparison to this large 21 here in the next few days. So stay tuned for that also. Uh, and last but not least, how about the fifth 23, which again is kind of a different animal, but fairly popular as well. So people might get the uh, size comparison there. Oops, shook the tripod a little bit there. But all in all, I think this is a great knife. It does fit in the pocket really nice. Pulls out and deploys out of the pocket really nicely. So the clip is a nice, you know, just bent steel clip. Um, but all in all, it works great. And it's a cool knife. So thank you, T1, for sending this in. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, had a lot of Microtechs in recently, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I have a playlist for them, but I will have to make one and make sure that I do have a Microtech playlist if I don't already have one. So there you go, guys. Quick little video on uh, the Microtech LUDT. All right. Have a great day. I appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts on automatics. Do you have one? Do you carry one? Do you think they're dumb? Um, you know, really curious as to what people's opinions are on them. I go back and forth. I live in California. They're not the most legal of things here in this state. Um, but I have a couple and I do carry them from time to time. You know, I'm not a huge automatic fan, but I... I do like them. I just don't always carry an automatic regardless of what state I would live in. I don't know that an automatic would be my personal go-to everyday carry. So let me know what you think down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.